This presentation is on neutralization reactions. Now hopefully by the end of the presentation you should be able to state what a neutralization reaction is and you should be able to work out what pH acids and alkalides need to be to form a neutral solution. So hopefully you're all aware of the pH scale. This is a range of numbers going from 1 to 14 which can be used to tell whether a chemical is an acid, an alkali or whether the solution is neutral. Now neutral solutions are given the pH of 7. If you go below 7 progressively from 6 to 1 you're getting more acidic whereas if you go above 7 from 8 to 14 you're getting progressively more alkali now here's the hard stuff now chemicals are termed acids if they contain what's called a hydrogen ion. Now hydrogen ion is like a hydrogen atom but with a charge. Now the hydrogen ion is positively charged which is why we have H+. Now chemicals which are alkaline contain what's called a hydroxide ion. Now this is an atom of oxygen and an atom of hydrogen combined with an overall negative charge. That's why it's written OH minus. Now when you add an acid to an alkali, these two ions react together and form water. Now water is a neutral chemical. That means the liquid which is made is no longer acidic or alkaline. So when you add an acid to an alkali you get what's called a neutralization reaction because the product is neutral. Now let's go back to our pH scale. Neutral chemicals have a pH of 7. Now if you're using the same amount of acid and alkali, you can't just choose any acid and any alkali to react together and end up with a pH of 7. For instance, if you start with an acid at pH 5, if you're going to add it to the same amount of alkali, that alkali will need to be at pH 9. That's because they're both the same distance from pH 7. Therefore they're going to react together and it's going to balance out at pH 7. It works the other way. For instance, if you start with an alkali at pH 11, and you want to add it to the same amount of an acid to get a neutral solution you have to add that alkali to an acid at pH 3. They balance out and you end up with a solution at pH 7 which is neutral. So a neutralization reaction is when you add an acid to an alkali but if you're adding the same amount of acid and alkali they need to be of equivalent strengths. So if you have a really strong acid, you need a really strong alkali to neutralize it. Whereas if you have a weak acid, you'll need a weak alkali. So hopefully, you can now say what a neutralization reaction is. And you should be able to work out what pH acids and alkalides need to be to form a neutral solution if you are using the same amount of acid and alkali. So thank you for watching the presentation. Make sure you fill in your homework sheet and bring it in next lesson.